So great white sharks, they're about a ton of muscle with teeth at the front. So that's fun. And where I grew up, we actually had these things in the water. So that was pretty enjoyable. But how aerodynamic are they? So we have the streamlines showing that they are very aerodynamic. They're very streamlined, which makes sense. They are designed, if they've evolved, to be in the water and swim around. The more streamlined they are, the faster they can swim. And you can see there's almost no wake. So downstream, the velocity is still like 18 or 19 meters per second, which means that it's lost almost no energy. And that makes sense. Even if, even despite the like mouth being open a little bit, it's pretty good. This Y plane shows the magnitude and it shows a few things. First of all, around the fins, for example, the top fin, you see that the flow really accelerates around it and around the other two fins as well. There are, there's a little bit of um, flow redirection. The rest of the body redirects the flow a little bit downwards. So this indicates that in just this configuration, the shark is producing a tiny bit of lift, which makes sense to some extent. Um, I actually did a podcast on hammerhead sharks the other day, and it showed that hammerhead sharks use their heads to actually produce lift and downforce and um, increase the agility to some extent. But when they swim sideways, their side fins also can produce a lot of lift. So potentially shark, great whites could do the same thing as well. And these animated streamlines from this angle show just how aerodynamic the shark is. I mean, there's almost no uh, weight to begin with. There are no roll-ups, there's no vorticity, nothing. There's a little bit around the gill. I just saw a blue little streamline there, which makes sense. The gill is rough, but the rest of the shark is incredibly aerodynamic. So I'm not too surprised by that because they're perfectly evolved. But are you surprised? Let me, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to get better at CFD yourself, make sure to check out our courses. Link in the description and check out the Atmosphere Hawk. It makes your experiments 2 to 4% more accurate. Link in the description as well. And I'll see you in the next simulation. Peace out, amigos.